under the weather, so we're going to attempt homemade cinnamon rolls and see if we can't um, give her something special to make her feel better today. And we've never done these before, so we'll see how this goes. So to do this in my sand mixer, I'm, I've got milk and it's warmed up. That's going to activate the yeast. Yeast needs heat um, to like bloom. So we're going to put warm milk. We're going to take our yeast and sprinkle it on top of the milk. Next, we're going to add our eggs, two eggs, a third of a cup of melted butter. And then this is a half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. So now I have my mixing paddle on and I'm going to add four cups of flour. I'm going to add it a little bit at a time. And then mix this together until it's just combined. And then we're gonna let that rest for five minutes. Our dough's rested for five minutes, and I'm gonna switch out my um, paddle hook attachment for my dough hook. Let me scrape it off real fast. We're switching to the dough hook attachment, and we're gonna knead our dough. And I do not feel the need, I don't feel like I need to be a hero when I make bread or make something with yeast, so I just use my sand mixer to knead it. I don't do it by hand. Do what you want. But we're gonna knead this for five to seven minutes. And then, um, depending on what it looks like, we may add more flour, so. It's still kind of a wet dough, which it's gonna need more flour, I'm guessing. It does, I'll show you what it looks like. flour you need it kind of depends on the time of year and how humid it is on on really humid days you can get away with um, more flour and today it's winter and dry and so I needed less flour okay so we've kneaded our dough in our sand mixer for five or seven minutes and now we're gonna transfer it to a bowl for the first rise it's gonna rise twice and I'm gonna spray my bowl so that it doesn't stick because this is a sticky dough Scrape it off my hook. I'm gonna scrape it into my bowl. So we have our dough in a greased bowl. I'm gonna set my oven to the lowest temperature and then once it's preheated, put it put the dough in the oven covered with a towel and let it rise for 30 minutes. That's our first rise. While our dough is rising in the oven, we're gonna mix up the filling for um, the cinnamon rolls, which um, is a half cup of softened butter, and then a cup of packed brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon. And then we're gonna mix that all together. So you want your butter to be super soft so it mixes up, otherwise this is gonna be a total, a total pain. Butter, brown sugar. And cinnamon. Just, I just pulled my dough out of the oven. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that has indeed doubled. So now it's time to roll it out and form our rolls. Here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna flour our cutting board here. <clears throat> we don't want it to stick. And then I'm going to flour my rolling pin, and then I'm going to turn my dough out. Make it 
maybe. Here we go. Oh yeah. And put more flour on top. And flour, flour everywhere. That's the key here. I'm trying to get it in the same general size as my cutting board. It's not going to be per perfect rectangle or a perfect oval or whatever. And it might even be a little bigger. That's okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna spread the filling. And I'm just using my fingers. You can use a knife or a spatula if you want. Silver part fell out. Okay. Well, yeah. I can't. I can't do it right now because no, look at my hands. Done, yes. When I'm done, I'll be more than happy to help. And then just put this in the case. Okay. But don't squeeze it because then this will happen. Okay. This. All right. Okay. All right. So that's pretty evenly spread everywhere. Let's cover these again and put them back into the oven. Um, I'm going to set it on 150, let it preheat, and then turn the oven off and put these two covered pans back in for another half hour for a second rise, and then they'll be ready to bake. So I poured heavy cream over the rolls. Oven's preheated to 375, and then we'll bake them. And they're going to be delicious. So our cinnamon rolls are in the oven and now we're gonna make the icing to go over the top of them. So I have six ounces of cream cheese already in my bowl and I'm gonna add a third of a cup of soft butter. The recipe says like two tablespoons of vanilla, which I don't have, so I'm just using what I have. And then two cups of powdered sugar. We're gonna mix that together with our hand mixer <coughs> to make icing. Why is your hair coming out? So that's super thick, and I'm gonna add a little milk to it. I don't know, maybe a tablespoon. We'll see what that does. melt when we put that on hot cinnamon rolls it'll melt a little bit and start to get runny and it'll be so delicious holy moly you guys that just makes a ton of icing too got that one. It's all lonely. So 
this is cream cheese icing, so it's a little thicker than if I would have just used powdered sugar and vanilla and milk. We like lots of icing around here. Notice who shows up just when it's time to ice. Who wants some cinnamon rolls? <laughs> How is it? How is it? Heaven on earth! How is it? I'm impressed. I would make these again. And this is, and it's like. The recipe also said if you have rapid rise yeast, you can use that instead of just regular active dry yeast and it would cut your rise time in half. So instead of 30 minutes for each rise, you could do 10 or 15 minutes. It would cut down your overall time for making these a little bit. So.